Look at this, everybody. Okay, welcome to day six. We have two sea days in a row left. We thought we would start with a little sea day brunch. And I have over easy eggs, chicken sausage, and just said to see what that's like. Corned beef hash, still kicks the chair. Amber has scrambled eggs. Looks like we got our crisp bacon. Yep, and the corned beef hash. Corned beef hash. So there. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Up 10 to deck 60, 70. And we are on day five. <laughs> yeah, no, day six. And we have to use an elevator. Woo! And there's a lot of decks. <laughs> 20, 18 Sore decks. Knees and hips. Yes. Not to say we don't take a break every three or four ducks. All right, good challenge. We didn't think we could do it, but we did it. All right, our first Bloody Mary on board, and we have one more day to go. So and cheers. Two olives. Two olives, so it's hooked up. Two I know, it's perfect. I don't think yeah, it's not too spicy. That's really good. Yeah. show our spread it, or my spread <laughs> it's uh, the lunch buffet so they did have chicken pork meatballs several different things and then I got another sea dog and a little dessert spread 
Andrea has the meatballs. Most of my food is <laughs> about gone. We had to go in shifts to keep the table, but I got some mango gelato. Yeah, that looks really good. I got some fruit and I got some cookies. All right, we're on our second to last sea day. The last warm sea day. Tomorrow, it's 86, I think, right now. Tomorrow's gonna be a high of 47. High of 47 tomorrow, and it is warm right now, so. Didn't get to do the ropes course yet, but may have to do that tomorrow in the cold. Yeah. Hopefully it's open. But here, here we are. It's our little balcony. Yeah, but in a little bit, we're gonna shower because we have the platinum diamond party in about a little over an hour. <laughs> then we moved our late dinner to early dinner. So we have dinner at 5.30, lobster night, formal. And... Oh. After that, I don't know what we're doing. And let me just say, last night's dinner, I didn't get to do an outro on it. Uh, we didn't record it. We did get pictures. I'll put pictures up, but it was really good. Uh, the appetizers, the entrees, and I even had a banana split for dessert. So mm. it was quite a good dinner. I um, did have the melting cake, get the peanut butter. I would say my favorite part was the ice cream. I don't know what happened. I. The melting cake is no longer a favorite. Ah, maybe taste change. Mm. Fairly smooth waters. Huh. Yep, nice and smooth. Yeah, we, the water is so calm. I actually thought we were adrift when I was walking. party on the last day when everyone's packing but we decided to go on sea day two today whenever everyone is up about and just coming straight from the casino y'all were taking a minute from losing some money and came in here for some great drinks <laughs> and we got the man the myth the legend the captain of the vessel he put on crew man this is the i think it's the fullest one that i've seen in my life <laughs> Four years in the carnival, and guys, uh, you must love us, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, give it up for your first time, Lana. Oh my God. You all remember when you made fun. Now listen, don't sit down. So don't sit down. Don't sit down now because uh, I've already told you guys, whenever you become a platinum, you have to initiate it into oh, the yeah. family. You gotta go out there and do what everybody else in this room did it. So you gotta do it, okay? Otherwise, you get your, your platinum card, take it back, you go back down to blue. <laughs> So right now you gotta, you gotta shake it into platinum mode. You gotta do your platinum dance. Do your platinum dance. Go platinum. Go platinum. Do your platinum dance. Do your platinum dance. Go platinum. Go platinum. Y'all look ridiculous. Do that. Hey. Y'all welcome the most fabulous you and funky to the group. I like that. That's a lot of cruising. <laughs> She's like, that's right. After that, you get a hot tub in your cabin. <laughs> Milestone, maybe not a hundred cruises, but oh, you've got two hundred days, days now under your belt. Where are my first time diamond guests? Please stand up and let us love on you. Congratulations! <laughs> on the Jubilee, the flagship of Carnival Cruise Lines, and who is out there on the original Jubilee? Okay, look at the shot we have out here. So, if you can't tell, it is formal night, and we have a seat by the window. Yeah, so, so we asked if we could have earlier dining, so our waiter, Kim Chi, checked, and we came at 5.30. And we could. For appetizers, Andrew is getting, trying the calamari and Caesar salad. And then uh, we're both getting lobster. I'm getting a shrimp cocktail. Uh, so this should, and also salad. So this should be a good dinner. So we'll show it all. All right, appetizer of calamari has arrived. 
Hopefully it's not too hot and I can see how it is. Mm. Back to crispy. A little rubbery. Oh, a little bit rubbery? Mm. Well, maybe some, uh, ha like, there'll be a few, like, really crisp ones on there. Yeah. I'll still eat them. <laughs> there you go. All right, shrimp cocktail here. I know I like these. Always. Oh, boy. All right, Andrea. That looks really good. Gotta have the bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> it kind of looks like it smells sweet. Almost. Yeah. Yep. Very lovely. All right. Awesome. Glad you enjoy. Okay, I have the lobster as well, so I'm gonna dig into that. I will let you know. And then prime rib. Shh. So my lobster is almost gone. I can report that it's like a sweet lobster. Really good. Doesn't really need the lemon. And yours is almost gone. Mine's about well. gone too. <laughs> well, we could always ask for another entree. <laughs> I actually have prime rib coming, so I may have to take Adrian to help me a little bit with that. Prime rib has arrived. You get a little horseradish sauce, au jus on top. This does look actually very fantastic. So Andrea will be helping. Tighter, stronger, stronger, tighter. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Mm. As you exhale and let that breath out now, allow your neck muscles to fully relax, letting your chin roll forward all the way down to your chest. Exhale, relax, allow your head and neck to roll forward now loose, limp, lazy, relaxed. Also knowing that from this moment forward, any time that I touch you, my touch takes you 10 times more relaxed, both mentally and physically. So my touch relaxes you down even further. Let's take this arm, place it right here, she's going to freeze in place, stuck and frozen. Let's take this arm, stuck and frozen like this. There you go, and even that finger is good right there. That's fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's take this arm, just stuck and frozen like that. This arm, stuck and frozen like this. This arm, just frozen like that. Let's stay and stay. This one, just like that. This one, just like that. Oh. Let's take this arm, stuck and frozen like that. And how about this left leg? Frozen just like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, left leg. Try this on your neighbor. Go ahead if you want. You can smell the smells of summer. Maybe you can smell a barbecue right there. Maybe you can feel a little sea breeze on your face. You feel as if you were outside right now. And it is a perfect temperature for you. But as we get in the afternoon, the temperature begins to rise a little bit. It starts to get a little hot, a little humid. All you need to do to cool off is take your right hand right now, make a little hand fan, fan your face and cool down as you feel that temperature raising up on you there, getting very hot, humid, and sticky. Fan yourself a little bit quicker, a little bit faster now as that temperature continues to raise hotter and hotter. I snap my face. You begin to feel a little perspiration on your forehead. Take that hand, wipe that sweat off your brow as that temperature goes even hotter. This is going to be a record high temperature. Fan your face with both hands. Fan your face with both hands. Fan your face with both hands. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but the easiest way to regulate your, your internal body temperature is to simply take a finger, lightly tap your nose, and that'll cool you right off. Just tap your nose to cool down. Tap your nose to cool down. Tap your nose to cool down. And when I snap my fingers again, again, it is the perfect temperature for you. Perfect temperature once again for each and every one of you. Sitting back, looking good, feeling good. You are once again going to feel as if you were outside, but this time you were up north in the heart of winter. And you feel that chill descend upon your body now as that cold air moves down your spine. As you feel goosebumps begin to pop up on your forearms. Take your hands and warm your arms up swiftly as that temperature begins to plummet all the way down to the freezing mark. As your body begins to shake and shiver, shiver and shake. Warm yourselves up swiftly. I snap my fingers. It feels like we are in Alaska. Feel that wind chill rip to the bone. Very cold and uncomfortable. But you remember how to regulate that body temperature. That's right. Take that finger. Tap that nose. Warm yourself up. Use a finger for me 
each hand. Tap your nose doubly as quick. That'll warm you up doubly as fast. Shake my hand there. Look right here. Frozen. Talking heaven right now for the ladies on the count of three back to one. Three, two, one. Big round of applause for all the ladies, by the way. In fact, each step you take, you gain better and better mobility and can move easier, quicker, and faster. It's all going to happen right now. The count of three back to one. People on stage and in the audience. Three, two, one. People on stage and in the audience. Go and stand up. Take a little test walk with those new feet and shoes with perfect balance. Go and stand up. Walk around with those new feet and shoes. And let's have you guys one at a time. Turn to the right there. Use the hand rail. Go down the stairs on the showroom floor. Let's have you go down the hand rail on the showroom floor. Once you get on the showroom floor, just spread out, go different directions from one another. We can all go this way to the right. Use the hand rail. Once you get on the showroom floor, come around the front of the stage. Go and fan out, go different directions. When I snap my fingers, you can move a little easier, a little quicker, a little faster. A little easier, a little quicker, a little faster. When I snap again, your hands also grow three times their normal size with perfect balance. Uh, now you have the big hands and the big feet walking around with perfect balance. Spread out from one another, go different directions. When I snap again, your heads also grow three times their normal size with perfect balance. Now you have the big heads, big hands, big feet walking around. The reason why your bodies are like this when I snap again, you realize that you are alien creatures from outer space. Aliens, this is your first human encounter. Stop right where you are. Turn towards the audience member that's seated nearest you now and examine the human being. When you come to the first human being, examine their hair. Touch it. Feel it. Smell it. Examine their hair. Touch it. Feel it. Smell it. Examine their hair. And now move to the next human that's nearest that one. And when you do, you will examine the human's ears. Be very gentle with the ears. The ears have very delicate piece of anatomy. Touch the ear gently and carefully. Humans sit very still. They will not harm you. Much. And now 
now move to another human that's further back in the room. And as you move towards that human now, you begin to analyze the human's nose. Be very gentle with the nose, as the nose is very delicate. Touch the nose, look at the nose. Lean down, look inside. If need be, however, no probing necessary. in their mind that you need to extract. And the way to extract that information is to use your telepathic powers and stare as close as you can with your eyes directly into their eyes. Do it now. The closer you get with your eyes to their eyes, the more information you can gather telepathically. Staring deeply, closely, intently through the lens of their eyes and the recesses of their minds. And as the humans try and block you from taking that information, you know how to stimulate them. That's right. Rub their elbows as you stare in their eyes. Rub their elbows as you stare in their eyes. Rub both elbows as you stare in their eyes. And when I snap my fingers, the music is going to stop. And when the music stops, you are all wide awake, wondering what you're doing. Three, two, one. Wide awake! <laughs> As this round of applause is all for you. Give them a huge round of applause. Come on now. Day six on the cruise. Haven't done many end of the night vlogs because been super tired and fall asleep before we do them. Um, but today, fun day at sea. Um, just kind of went around the ship quite a bit. It was our last hot day. Uh, tomorrow is going to be high of 47. Um, so had a little bit of a ship emergency on board. So uh, apparently somebody fell, um, hit their head on the like slide, so kind of like water park area. So um, they called to have uh, blood donations and uh, seems like the person needs to have uh, transfusion and we turned around and we are headed back to Cancun. So we had entered the Gulf and had a swing around, go back to Cancun. We were almost there. I have a little clip here to show you a route. So um, we have one more sea day tomorrow and then we arrive in Galveston, which we may be arriving late in the Galveston. Not sure what that's going to do um, with debarkations, uh, flights, all that stuff. So we will have to wait and see. Obviously, number one priority is getting the person the medical attention they need. So, um, yeah. We will keep you posted, but hope you enjoyed and we will see you tomorrow.